So, you get a call back from your window cleaning client and you gotta go back and fix it. You leave the house, you think the windows are great, you collect the check, and you put your heart into it, and you did a great job. You do this every day. The windows are perfect, right? And now the customer calls back upset because he says, or she says, or the customer says that several windows are dirty, you did a bad job, what the hell? You need to come back and fix this. And it, it blows your mind, right? Is what just happened to us. The, the guys that work with me, that work for me, have been working with me for years. They're irritated by how like obsessive compulsive I am about making sure every little spot on the windows are perfect because I know the way that customers think. And there is something called the technical perfection deception. I get that. So, the customer called back. We're going back there first thing in the morning even though we have jobs lined up, we're gonna fix it. It's just windows, right? It's not rocket science, but the customer was, this was my fault. I always do a final walkthrough when we're done. And this one time, because we're working, to, we're at this house till like past 7 p.m. It was pretty late. I was like, it's fine. We do this every day. I, in the one house, I didn't do a final walkthrough. It'll bite you. It'll, it'll, it'll bite you. So there was two screens that I could not get out because they were locked in place by blinds that were screwed to the thing and you couldn't get out unless you totally took the blinds off or break the screen out. I, as soon as I noticed that, I wanted to tell the customer, but the customer was uh, very busy doing something, uh, like working from home. And it literally, we had so much going on that it's just slipped my mind. This never happens. It doesn't happen. And so there you had a dirty window encased in a dirty screen. I didn't say anything, which triggered a red alarm in the customer's head to think of what else did they do wrong? What the hell is going on? And um, then the customer says that, um, and I never publish any per personal information about my clients, so nobody knows who this is, I'm just speaking. That he says, well, you didn't do the, the outside sills. I'm like, outside sills? you know, when you crank open the window, that area, I go, no, that constitutes as a track. I'm sorry I wasn't clear in our promotions or advertising, but the sill inside of the window, uh, and I guess you say outside sills, the water-fed pole usually rinses that down. I don't know if I'm sticking my head in the sand here, but I just never thought about cleaning outside sills. I don't know. Um, it, unless it's like really obvious where you're looking at it, we, we do it once, a wipe down with a microfiber. I'm just so embarrassed right now. But sometimes I've had customers actually think that a track is a sill and they think that we're gonna go and scrub out all the bugs and all the gunk and all the stuff for a price of sill cleaning. And I do tell them we have something called the works package over the phone where we go and we scrub out all that stuff and it's about $100 more, right? But basically, I don't care what it takes, we're going back to this customer's house first thing in the morning. We're gonna um, get the blinds off, fix, clean those screens, re-clean the windows. We'll do whatever we have to do. I don't care I don't care what it costs or what it takes. All that matters is saving face with the customer and looking at the problem as an opportunity to provide excellent customer service and make a customer happy and make it right. It's not about money, it's about integrity and it's just window cleaning. That's why this business is beautiful. If you're a type of person that sticks your head in the sand, or maybe you've had problems in life facing reality or issues, I mean, landscaping, window cleaning, it's forgiving. You can go back and fix a dirty window. You can go back and touch up some mulch. So it's a blessing in disguise. What a beautiful opportunity to be able to go back and fix a mistake. It makes you 
and make that's what makes you great. So I, I know this is kind of an odd video, but I hope it serves you. Peace be with you, my brother. <laughs>